We are live. Whether you are on the replay or here live, thank you for being here. We are going to hop in and check out the Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 5. I have Level 4 and below on my channel even as of tonight. I just finished filming Level 3 and Level 1. And I just wanted to jump on and do Level 5 because my kiddo will be heading into that next from Level 4. And I know they have level six and level seven is coming, but I don't want to get too hasty with all the things. So we're going to do five tonight and wrap up my filming session for tonight. So we'll go through the course book. We'll go through the full mental map, mental math, map mysteries. And then we'll kind of give you just an idea of what you get in the answer key. This is what comes in the course set. Um, I don't think you want to see every page of that one, though. So every page of these two will get a feel for what's in there. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. So this level has this life flat binding, and they recommend that you, when you get it, before you get, hand it to your kid, it'll be using it, or let them do it. Open it up, press it down in a couple different places. You say that it works better over time as it's broken in. I have that found that to be true. Um, level K and level one are both spiral bound. And then from there on up, they are this kind of binding. These appear to be pretty easy to rip out. We're not a rip out the pages kind of family. But if that is you, it doesn't seem too hard. There are four units, 120 lessons, because the assessments are broken up into two lessons. And what else did I want to say about this? This does not come with a math box. Neither does level four. I believe level four and up do not come with math boxes because they have um, video lessons, which my kiddo really thoroughly enjoys. I have listed down in the description box all of the new concepts taught for each unit for you. So here's lesson. Unit one is lessons one through 30. And in level three and level four, they include geography in with the units, each unit you study a new geographical place. I'm not sure if this one does. I guess we'll kind of see as we go if this one does that or not. Here's your video lesson box. You can do a QR code or just have it. You can even download them. We download them and have them on a device for our child to get into. Um, a, a device that our child has access to for them to be able to not have to be on the internet watching the video. That is our preference. And if at any point you want me to speed it up or slow it down, there is a little settings button down in the bottom right hand corner that you can click on and adjust me to your liking on speed. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm not seeing a whole lot of geography here, but we've got different math concepts going in. And if you have a kiddo who is picking this stuff up really well, even though these lessons are short, um, feel free to like say, hey, pick like three of these to do. You got a good handle on exponents, pick three of them, or you know, whatever. Adjustments, if this is something that they already know from life experience or if you're coming to this curriculum from a different one or from just starting homeschool, maybe they already know how to do short division. And you can be like, okay, watch. My kid likes to watch the video even when they know the concept. But maybe you can reduce the amount of practice they need to do. Whatever you feel is appropriate for your child and where they're at in their mastery of these concepts. I like to modify the practice and lessons when applicable to get my kiddo through the work, review a little bit of what I feel like they do have mastered for that spiral learning. But my goal is to get them into playing and you know, free time and do the things that they want to spend their time on as soon as possible. So that's why I like to modify. Mm. 
Now, I won't worry about going through any of the videos with you, especially since we are live, and I don't have software that lets me do that. But I believe levels one through five are free for download. I have that information in the description box. So I, these videos should be free to access if you want to check them out. Okay, so here, lesson 29 is going to be all of the purple bits of these areas. So they'll go through and do those. And then for lesson 30, as you grade it, the instructions will give you information on when, if you need to check additional practice based on what is coming up incorrect. And then for lesson 30, they'll go through and do any of the orange boxes that they need to do. After doing that, if they still need some practice, that's your clue to go check out these lessons again, do some more review before moving on. Or if they're not, you know, depending on what it is, maybe look ahead and see if that concept is covered enough in the review to determine what you feel is best for them. So unit two is lesson 31 through 60. I mean, we got some fish in that lesson. So this does not seem to be a geographical, in my, my view. But I know that levels three and four are. Ooh, angles, math with angles. I did do the previous version of the Good and the Beautiful's math with my kiddos when they were younger. We did not make it this far with the previous version. My oldest is going to be going into this level, so... They did level three in the previous version, and I have a kiddo who's done K through two in the previous version. We liked it. It was great. We enjoyed and we're very grateful for Good and Beautiful for that version. But all of my kids, both of my kiddos who have done the previous version, love this one more, especially my kiddo who's doing these video lessons, I'm really enjoying the video lessons. Again, I didn't get this far with the previous version. I don't know if there were video lessons for those. But my younger kiddos who are only exposed to this one are loving it. So all good things. As far as I can tell, as, as far as I have experienced in my years of homeschooling, Anytime they do an update on their curriculum, it is for the better. But the previous is just as good. It's, it is good, but the updates are better. Okay, let's unit three, 61 to 90. In fact, with, uh, speaking of updates and changes, they have been updating and releasing new science units with their student journals and all fully bound, you know, put together unit instead of the loo loose lease they used to do that you could prep yourself and figure out how you wanted to do that. I have a video for every single unit that has student journals and is bound and everything on my channel. As of tonight, we just covered birds and ecosystems and I have all of the previous ones on here. I will link that playlist for you in the description box if you are interested in grabbing a science unit with, um, your math unit when purchasing curriculum for next year. Now for language arts, I only have videos for levels one through two of the newer stuff. I don't know that I have many. I will link the playlist of what I have for language arts and you can look through that. But I do not purchase level five of language arts yet because my kiddo is farther along in their math level than they are in their language arts level. And I saw that level three of language arts is being um, a new addition is being released into the summer. So I'm going to hold out as long as physically possible on getting level five, just in case there's a possibility of a new addition by the time my kiddo gets to the point of meeting. So that's why there's not 
maybe do for level five language arts because we're just not there yet. And then it comes to we're doing label level four, but I'm not sure if I have a video on that. I will link it. You can check. All right, unit four, 91 to 120. I know I have all of the new, um, brand new language arts levels that came with the, the new reading program and then all of the pre-K ones, like the preschool and the kindergarten prep, I believe is now what it's called. I do have all of those in that playlist. If you have younger kiddos that you want to check those out for. My kiddo and I are really enjoying that new reading program. Time zones. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I mean, fun for me. I enjoy that kind of thing. But I think, believe my kiddo that will be using this book also has a fascination with time zones. Here's the course assessment, same as the unit assessments. They'll do the purple, and then you'll go from there. And this will give you instructions on how to grade it and when to check these. And then um, if your child is ready to move on to the next level or needs to practice a few things. And here we have a reference guide and some punch out pieces. Different. Just one page of punch out pieces. All right. So there's the course book. Let's check out mental math map mysteries. So um, each lesson will refer them to come here and do the lesson portion of the mental math. And then you will have this key. So you, the way you do it is you fold it over and then you hold it like this where you are on this side with the answer key your child is on that side looking at the questions and then they can read off the statement the question and then do that for you and you have here you have the answer so the skip counting that gives you all of the numbers they should be saying which I do appreciate sometimes so they will go through and do each of those and then here at the bottom, once they finish these, they get to find this sticker and place it on these coordinates of the map. So the stickers are here, and here's the map. And then when they get to the end, it's a, well, in level four, I believe it's a choose your own adventure story. We'll get to that when we, well, we can do it now, and then we'll hop back over. Um, wait to read this book until after you've completed the course. So you have Ivy and the Ice Village. And reading along. Here you choose. So it is a choose your own adventure. You choose where they are going. We have not made it this far yet, so I'm not sure how my kid likes the level version but kiddos typically like their choose your own adventure and this kiddo does like choose your own adventure so we have other choose your own adventure books that they enjoy so I have no doubt that it will be enjoyed all right so coming back over here now if you're wondering how my kiddo feels about doing the mental math I mean I wouldn't say that it's their favorite thing to do but they don't they have not complained about doing it they are willing to do it. 
and get through it without much fuss. Though I, that's probably this particular child's just willingness to do the thing and the motivation of the sticker. I think they are highly motivated by that story. So I, my next kiddo under that one, I don't know that I would say that I would expect the same from them when we get to this level. But who knows, the sticker, that sticker might do the trick. And it's not like they're asking a ton each lesson. Some of them are a little heftier than others, though. And there you go. All right. Let's take a look at the answer key. So this is also online. I'm pretty sure that you can look it up there if you need to. So you have same binding and it's just, oh, I've got a paper cut there. Gives you the numbers they need to fill in from the video lesson there. And then here, let's see, I'm not sure that they're filling anything in, but in the practice, you're getting all kinds of stuff filled in. So you know which things that is just, you know, your basic answer key. Here it says answers will vary, but the chart graph and all the labels should be filled in like this. Different bit. So it's got the pages are going to look exactly like what you're going to get in the book with the answers filled in or descriptions of what you need to be able to grade it. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, I am here. Whether you're here live or on the replay, any questions at any point, drop them down in the comments. I am always honored to be able to help out fellow homeschooling families with any questions they may have. Um, this wraps up my filming for tonight. I love doing these lives so that you guys get them right away. Um, I will have those things linked in the description box, the math list, the science list, and language arts so that you can check out. Actually, there is a playlist of all the good and beautiful curriculum already in there, but I will link those other, um, God, not topic, oh, subject specific lists down there for you. And I hope this was helpful. I will catch you next time with the probably next science unit that's released. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.